Matt Watson is an England and UK national high jumper. I went to his training this week and caught up with him about his career so far. Um, I was at college. Um, they basically introduced me to it through through me playing basketball, um, and they told me to go along to the to the college athletics championships or whatever it was called, um, and it just kind of went from there. I jumped in the first competition, um, won it with awful kind of technique and everything like that, and yeah, I went down to the local track because I was told I should maybe try it a little bit more than me just having a go at championships for college, um, and then it's just spiraled out of control since then. Um, it's just it's just been high jump. I've always had the option of being a triple jumper as well. Um, I do, but in previous years I have been I have been triple jumping all the all the way up to 2013, um, which I kind of specified just high jump sort of stuff. Um, but we always train um, in a triple jump manner as well as high jump because a lot of it's the same sort of training. Um, so I'm always fit to be able to triple jump. Um, so there's there is always an option for me to turn to triple jumping, and I don't think it would take too much for me to be at the same sort of level I am now with high jump, um, but it's just whether I'm capable of going that extra step into like a world stage or something like that. Um, Commonwealth Games, it's all headed towards Commonwealth Games next year uh, in Glasgow. Um, so every, every single hour I spend training um, is headed towards Commonwealth Games. Um, there's, there's a lot of competition, um, but I, I'm in a top three or four bracket that I think I can get a spot um, I think I'm capable of getting a spot in um, but you never know what people are going to bring out um, so I've got to be I've got to be the, the best shape I can possibly be in for them um, training I have to dedicate my whole every minute of every day um, whether it's me training is resting so if I'm in bed asleep that's me kind of preparing towards the Commonwealth Games um, Money-wise, everything invests everything into it. So, me being able to live, just paying for rent, things like that, it's all it's all headed towards my living, which is all like focused into my high jump. Um, I mean, I I have a local coach that I went to from the minute I started high jump, and I fell into a coach that's now an England coach. So, I mean, it's it's a pretty. It just worked perfectly, really. Um, there'll always be days where I'll go up and train with, with other England coaches and GB coaches um, purely for different set of eyes to watch me train, different input, things like that. It's always good to hear different things from different people. But it's, uh, So, yeah, it's already set up for me. Um, this is my England Athletics medal. In my first proper season, this is I oh, actually won the bronze medal at the UK champ or sorry England champs um, and that was this is my first ever big medal um, it's something I think I'll always be pretty proud of it was unexpected for me to jump so well um, I knew I was kind of I knew I was getting into good shape but I had no idea in comparison to how well I know my body now in comparison um, so this is a massive medal and a big surprise when I won it and I kind of like whoa and then from then it a lot of people started to recognise me. Um, so that uh, this is kind of the kickstart to my medal-winning career, if you want to say. Um, and